we would have weapon systems where the AI that is controlling that weapon system is deciding who to attack, when to attack. The issues that are more concerning are um, really around the use of AI in weapons. It would presumably be operating with fairly general instructions, like, you know, attack and destroy any, uh, anything that moves in this region. But it could also be used in much more dangerous and, and harmful ways. Uh, for example, um, kill anyone uh, who fits the following description. Google had enunciated a policy a few years ago where they clearly stated that they would not allow their AI systems to be used for weapons. You have to assume that it's not a coincidence that this change in policy comes with a new administration that has removed uh, all the regulations on AI that were placed by the Biden administration and is now um, placing a huge emphasis on the use of AI for military prowess. It seems reasonable that, uh, particularly when it comes to human extinction, uh, it seems reasonable to ask for cast iron guarantees. Governments must require cast iron guarantees um, in the form of uh, either statistical evidence or mathematical proof that can be inspected, that can be checked carefully. And anything short of that is just asking for disaster. There were, at last count, about 75 countries that had either developed or were using remotely piloted weapons. But on the other hand, you know, there are more than 100 countries that have already stated their opposition to autonomous weapons. I think there's a good chance that uh, we'll achieve the necessary majority in the United Nations General Assembly to have a resolution calling for a ban.